Hi everyone, I'm Rob from Gautos Bros, and today we're going to be installing a damper mount on this 2016 KTM that uses the new style rubber mounted handlebar purchase. With the frame clamp already mounted to your bike and the upper triple clamp still removed, we can start installing the damper mount. Go ahead and pull off the rubber isolators from the aluminum bushings that came on the bike. We supplied new ones of these in the kit. The rubber isolators are usually in pretty good shape and can be reused. Once you have both of these installed, flip over your triple clamp and drop them in from the bottom. You'll notice that I have the flats of the bushings lining up facing front to back. You can now go ahead and put the rubber isolators in from the top. You don't have to press them all the way down right away, but just try and get them snug. With the upper triple clamp back on the bike, go ahead and trim the bars from lock to lock. What we're looking for here is any kind of rubbing between the bushing and the frame clamp. The clearances are close, but they shouldn't touch. Installation continues by placing the damper mount over the bushings protruding from the top of the triple clamp. It'll slip right on and it already feels sturdy. At this point, we can go ahead and put on your damper. You'll need to make a modification to the handlebar perches by drilling out the two 10 millimeter bolt holes to 12 millimeters in order to fit the larger hardware supplied in the kit. It's pretty simple if you have a hand drill and a 12 millimeter bit. Support it on a block of wood, as shown, and line things up as straight as possible. The last step for the handlebar perch is removing the sharp edge left by the new hole we made. Inside the counterbore, there's a little bit of a raggedy edge, and we want to remove that with a chamfer bit, or even a little bit larger of a drill bit if you make a light cut. We'll put the handlebar perches back on. You can do this in either the forward or rearward facing directions. The hardware supplied will need a liberal amount of anti-seize to make sure you can get them off easily in the future. Slip a 15 millimeter box end over the wrench flats of the bushings we installed earlier. This will keep them from turning while we tighten down the handlebar perch hardware. It's important to remember that the wrench flats stay facing forward to backward. We don't want them to move at all. With the handlebar perch tightened down, we'll want to double check that the bushings are not touching the frame clamp or making contact with anything else. Turn the bars from lock to lock, just to double check. If everything looks good, you're ready to put the handlebars back on. After bolting on your handlebars and tightening all the pinch bolts on the upper triple clamp, you're going to be all set to go ride. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.